How you doing, America? I'm a proud adult gamer. I'm a Sony gamer, and I'm not a fan of Joe Biden, as you can tell. I do a lot of virtual reality gaming now. now we're going to jump into the news. I am a PSVR 2 gamer. That's going to be important. You're going to find out why very soon. I'm also the white gamer. I'm also the virtual alpha gamer. I say that because it's alpha to love yourself. It's alpha to love the country. It's alpha to want to save president donald j trump if you don't know that there's propaganda markets in america you're in the right place if you're already based you're in the right place new entertainment new information for everybody let's get into it and don't worry just because i'm the white gamer doesn't mean anything blacks for trump lgbtqs for trump the white gamers teaming up with greg foreman the black conservative in this video to level up gamer brains get the information that matters and help save america and american entertainment we're tired of the news reporters and the politicians so the gamer the virtual reality gamers coming out to put joe biden on blast into the virtual reality gun scope to analyze if he's selling us out and even if he might be selling us out on purpose let me know in the comments if you think joe biden is destroying america let's get into some crack gameplay and then i'm gonna reveal to you the future of the psvr2 stay tuned like comment subscribe if you know it's the best piece of gaming tech in the world and there's a propaganda market more on that in a second but we're not doing anything crazy we're just supporting second amendment rights and virtual reality doing in virtual reality what joe biden won't get done in a regular reality saving american values inside virtual reality if you need new entertainment let's get into destroying joe biden inside virtual reality check out my red gamer pill content i got some people in my comments upset that i'm putting politics onto the psvr2 and ps5 hardware wake up sony's already pushing politics on on, on their hardware i'm fighting back with the anti-woke mod if you're upset at me your brain is in the wrong place and you don't want to help save america if you're a real base person or you're somebody on the fence even if you're a blue hair even if you're a soy boy guys i've made changes having conservative values have made me much happier check out my content this is a gaming community and gaming information to take america and our gamers into the future go virtual go alpha it's alpha to love yourself it's alpha to love the country it's alpha to want to save president donald trump the private citizen being legally abused by the united states government check out my content putting this guy on blast president evil nice to have you game is for your wallet anyway not for nerds Joe Biden reality is way too overpriced, way too unclean, and way too unsafe. That's why we're going into virtual reality. The propaganda market in America and on the liberal media is so bad, I can't even respect reality anymore. Wondering if one of these people are the brainwashed, incompetent idiots. I started this YouTube channel after uh, not the first time I was attacked really badly due to soft on crime policy is gaming in 2024 also saves my wallet it's now for greater america i have the best virtual reality promotional content in the world the most patriotic virtual reality content in the world sony never gave you the truth about virtual reality it's too alpha it's too immersive you can support your values family bonding uh, family counseling marriage counseling sibling therapy even if you're older and if you're already a gamer an established gamer it's a smack of home entertainment to spice up gaming it changed my life stay tuned if virtual reality is not for you but you know joe biden reality is too overpriced and too unsafe and you think virtual reality is now for greater america and americans need new entertainment to support their values i'd really appreciate the like and the comment to get the video to, to more people and stay tuned you're going to enjoy it we're tired of the news reporters and politicians let me know if you are too if you're already subscribed, thank you for believing we can use video games to break the propaganda markets in America. If you're not yet subscribed, even if you don't game virtual, this stuff is going to be for you. And we're going to get to the content soon that's going to be focused on the hardware owners, the guys that are already subscribed, the guys and gals that own the hardware to take the headset into the future and eventually launch the multiplayer community, preserve the really good games that we do have, as well as making new content on game release, preserving the multiplayer with that. We'll get into all that. I want to throw you up a minute of regular citizens non-white citizens since I'm the white gamer talking about their uh, disbelief that Trump is a bad person. We're going to show a quick Kamala Harris clip clowning on her and 
we're going to work in crossfire gameplay, promote the PSVR 2, make you feel better about owning the headset. And at the end, we're going to review what Joe Biden was asked before this smile and this laugh and why I think this is proof that he's selling us out and Americans who won't admit it are willfully denying it. I'm here to help you if you don't like Joe Biden. I'm here to help you if you don't like Donald Trump. I think we need to save America and video games are going to help. And wokeness, virtual reality has propaganda markets on it. Let's get into it, guys. Stay tuned. And I appreciate the support helping us get this to new people while we know it's the smack of entertainment. He's not guilty at all. Yeah, I was in the court every day. He's not guilty. There's no evidence. No evidence, yo. They all lie. Quick catch up in case you're not paying attention on the hush money charges. Donald Trump was found guilty on all counts. Over 30 felony counts. Guilty. It's a blue state. It shows all the juries. It's a hate Trump. Game is for your wallet anyway, not for nerds. They hate Trump. That's why they I'm they showing you the Asian lady and the black guy on yeah. purpose, by the way, because I'm the white gamer. So we want to make all Americans comfortable because I'm the white gamer. I'm using the black guy and the Asian lady. This is his video, Greg Foreman, the black conservative. But it is definitely made up now. And I will definitely be voting for Donald Trump because the weaponization of the legal system, it is so blatant and this corruption cannot stand. The white gamers coming out and saying we're voting for Trump to make other Americans on the fence or other Americans who just don't know what's going on more comfortable saving America because we all really know what's going on. And we're also going back to square one with VR marketing advertisements. Joe Biden's a demented clown in the virtual reality gamers, putting him under the virtual reality gun scope because I know virtual reality is for more people. It's therapy on their wallets and their mind. It's not just for gamers. It's for counseling and therapy. It's awesome technology in my virtual reality reality execution videos and my hunter biden gamer crack videos didn't do well so we're going back to being a little more tame giving base news in a based way being nice to the people joe biden's a demented clown and we're still weeding out wokeness though check out my virtual reality wokeness executions of robert de niro and Alyssa mercante and kataku in my stellar blade red pill video i show some of kamala harris and just how much she panders and how cringe she is and we have joe biden now refusing to step down even though everybody is saying that he needs to after that debate and i have in my videos my recent video my save america video with leon s kennedy that red pill video over the lake monster boss fight i have clips of the presidential debate and the liberal media saying that he's been fine leading up until the debate and now all of a sudden they're shocked when joe biden had a bad performance and how it's all probably a psyop and we'll see how things go but it's just it's all propaganda that they that he's good and i talk about it in my videos i'm going to talk more about my stellar blade red pill video on the way out and what other content you can find on my channel i'm going to have the thumbnails thrown up throughout let you guys know that i have the really good content i'll tell you which are the which are the best videos what's most scary is the not the propaganda market there's always been the elites there's always been the top one percent there's always been the uh, the globalists there's always been the propaganda uh but there's never been this many citizens buying in to the propaganda and then on top of it there's never been this many citizens that seemingly are aware it's propaganda and are still okay with it why yes that was a virtual reality execution of the squad thank you for asking i really appreciate that it's a squ it's the squad they're not a person so i think i can just say it's a virtual reality wokeness execution of the squad i don't have to say their value systems the squad represents value systems a value system you know what i mean or you, guys it's a virtual reality wokeness execution of the squad's values system and it's like they don't realize that they're okay with the propaganda because of the propaganda they believe donald trump is so evil and such a threat to black people and democracy and gay people and all that stuff that they think it's like righteous and they think 
Joe Biden is a good man for, they know all the court stuff is BS. They think he's a good man for imprisoning Donald Trump and saving America. They think it's the government needing to like swoop down and, and force one private citizen from destroying the country. Be- all these people, Fannie Willis, Letitia James, Jack Smith, they all got exposed as liars. And one of them is a sexual degenerate. They're so corrupt and it's all been exposed and people still eat up that Donald Trump is a liar when it's right in front of their face. That's why I say it might be willing. Guys, go look at Greg's videos on it, Black Conservative. They don't realize that none of that is true and it's an authoritative government pushing propaganda to stay in control and preventing one private citizen from saving the country these people don't open their eyes they don't listen to real black people they don't listen to real americans they don't listen to real migrants who have been here who came here illegally they don't listen to real parents who have daughters that have lost trophies because of this sports and transgender stuff and then even when they do they dismiss it to like oh but you know this is these people have had it good for so many years and we need to like but what about these people what about these people that's all propaganda that we need to cater to these people they're mentally ill it's all bs it's the the people coming in a lot of them are criminals military age men it's a rite of passage that you stay and fight in your own country if your government's abusing you guys it's clown town i'm getting raped it's a, i don't even know what i'm talking about um it's clown town it's clown reality out there guys let's go into virtual reality i could talk about this stuff all day save it for other videos but you can see where i'm coming from if i'm not giving you hard enough facts i'm going to refer you to the guys that can really red pill you and also hopefully just my personality and me coming out as the, the white gamer and not uh not not anybody of authority myself gives people courage and hopefully my personality gives you courage if you need it hopefully if you're a base you find me entertaining in the crack smack for triadic gameplay i got a video hunter biden says resident evil 4 for triadic's gamer crack it's a cool video it's like six minutes long it's uh, ending wokeness in virtual reality and i have an assassin's bleed assassin's creed coming out soon but that's it we're gonna go back to regular news after that also, guys, if you want to support an old video on the channel, I put Greg Foreman into Resident Evil 4, who's that black guy in the thumbnail. It's kind of a long video, but it's fun if you want to go back in time, like, comment, subscribe, follow. I can't tell you exactly what it's going to be like, but I know from what I've heard, there's a lot of people in tears. The white gamers bringing you news and opinion from black guys to help America. I'm showing you a throwback. Mostly everybody's new to my channel. I want to show you how serious I am about the idea. This is a cool video, even though it's long and where it's going in the future. I got the content there. I have a lot of videos. Some of them are trash. Some of them are really good. I never got good at thumbnails and titles, and I'm taking time to do that. Hopefully this is my first good one. There's going to be new people on the channel. So there's tons of stuff to go back through if you want. It's awesome virtual reality stuff. It's fun. I'm a crazy American talking about crazy stuff, but stay tuned for the future of fun. Most importantly. 20, 24. I'm the black guy, the white guy, and the black guy are teaming up now. Save America. Level up your gamer brain, get news and opinion from Greg's channel. Uh, if you need new entertainment, the white gamer's giving you permission to play. Virtual reality is the future. Check out a Biden reality. Way too overpriced, way too unsafe, way too unclean. I'm going to be refunding the police and virtual reality for future fun cops and robbers, by the way. So even if you don't need new entertainment, you're not going to do anything crazy like hit the subscribe or the notifications button. I'd really appreciate a like, especially if you think other Americans might need new entertainment. I know these games can strengthen our men and women. The guns feel awesome. I'm putting cultural figures into virtual reality. I got Tom McDonald, Resident Evil 4, God Mode. It's going to make you feel better about your gaming. Go for the 10-minute ride. I was getting my editing up. The gameplay is a little dark, but it's still an awesome video. And I'm coming out with Joe Rogan, Alpha Gamer Brain Soon, reacting to him and his guests talk about virtual reality, how they game healthy. Joe Rogan talking about fear of getting addicted to video games back in the day. He goes out and does virtual reality now. He's a healthy gamer with his family. I do it at home inside the headset, inside the action. Uh, check it out. Check out the crack gameplay on my channel and uh, America First Gaming Community news info here. Here's the thumbnail. Just also just some fun Resident Evil 4 content. Go check out my saving Donald Trump in Resident Evil 4 if you just want to see some crack gameplay and uh, get to know me a little bit. See if virtual reality is for you.
Again, the market discussion on that is throughout my channel, but in a nutshell, it's that it is being supported. They don't want people coming off flat screen, breaking the hardcore flat screen gaming market, going into virtual reality. They want to support the hardware and they want to keep the hardcore gaming market, but they don't want people coming off flat screen where they can control content and developers have no integrity. VR is too out, it's too immersive. I have a save in American values inside virtual reality video. There's more Resident Evil 4 gameplay talking about how Leon S. Kennedy is a patriotic character therapy for more people. You can control content inside the headset. It's a really cool video. And I, I am going to do one more virtual reality execution video with Netflix. I'm going to splice some of this in there. Two more coming, people. And then we're on to regular news, I promise. Maybe Here's the surprise. Maybe somebody, it's more I'm of so a point so of honestly, relief with how divisive everything is and how many true. just brainwashed people there are out there. But here it is right to our faces. We don't need to question anything anymore. The surprise is that Joe Biden told us that he is President Evil, by the way, Leon S. Kennedy from Resident Evil 4. We all know he games virtual in real life. He's a true patriot. He's not saving Biden's daughter in the game, so she can get sniffed again. He's saving Donald Trump's daughter. Like, comment, subscribe, follow. If you know there's a propaganda market on Donald Trump and the PSVR 2, there's a propaganda market. I don't expect you to know that. That's why you're here. That's why I'm here. We're taking virtual reality into the future we don't reload with no button press here is the clip of joe biden telling you directly that he's been lying to your face and expecting you to believe your lying ear not believe your lying ears and your lying eyes when things are right in front of our face at the border is not secure despite what they say they're not the most transparent organization despite what they say they're not protecting us crime is up despite what they say the corruption runs so deep they don't even report some of the statistics they're pushing off certain stuff as different races different genders to buff up crime statistics in their favor and push a narrative if you need it like comment subscribe to save your gamer brain be taken into the future of fun and game better game america first the propaganda market in america and on the liberal media is so bad i can't even respect reality anymore wondering if one of these people are the brainwashed incompetent idiots walking around in the public that's why i save my mind in virtual reality uh check out the uh joe biden giving you giving you the direct answer to your face still spitting in your face still telling you to vote for him mr president can you tell us sir Donald Trump refers to himself as a political prisoner and blames you directly. What's your response to that, sir? Do you think the conviction will have an impact on the campaign? We'd love to hear your thoughts, sir. Should you be on the I have a Resident now? Evil, President Evil announcement mm. video. Let me know if you little, think it's a cool uh, idea you want to see more. A grin there from Biden as he's asked a question by Kelly O'Donnell. Uh, it's all lies. The American people know it, and the people that aren't admitting admitting it are willfully denying it at this point i'm giving you the confidence if you're on the fence to stop listening to these brainwashed elitists telling us that we're an evil place and we need to sell out our country it's okay to be america first it's the right thing to do in my opinion um people are struggling i know i am leave me a comment let me know if you've had to do anything hard in your life recently especially if you need new entertainment because of it virtual reality really is the crack of home entertainment it's not taboo i got tons of content made debunking the pricing myth videos all that stuff coming out and leaving you two crack options right now but first a reminder how bad joe biden reality is before the two virtual reality options he refuses to step down he's almost eradicated democracy in his own party guys stay tuned i'll give you the red pill stuff deemed an utter disaster for biden Questions now follow Joe Biden with every step. Is he unfit to be president? Too old, too feeble for the job, even now, let alone for another four years. At this White House war. ceremony, he seemed Honor. fine. Ordinary Americans who showed extraordinary courage. But those Biden worries grow louder. We are laying out uh, and explaining exactly what happened. For the second straight day, Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre facing pointed questions on the president's mental acuity and his political future. Asked straight up, will he step down? In 2024, I don't care to just come out and say it, and I don't care if it's on the internet forever. We got a country and a culture to save. I'm tired of 
the Biden blacks. I'm also tired of the Biden white. Sometimes the white liberals are the worst. Blacks for Trump, LGBTQs for Trump, based Americans for Trump, the white gamer for Trump. Get on the train now while it's still cool and acceptable. Absolutely not. And on multiple reports that he's now actively considering ending his bid for re-election. No, it is absolutely false. That's coming directly from him. The president is clear-eyed and he is staying in the race. I don't have anything else beyond that. He is staying, he's staying in the race. President of the United States, Joe Biden. All of it continued fallout from that debate last week with former President Donald Trump. Deemed an utter disaster for Biden, stumbling often and seeming to lose his train of thought. Everything we have to do with... A new poll now suggesting Trump's lead on Biden among U.S. voters is widening. Biden's supporters, be they lawmakers, donors, friends, signaling worries his bid for re-election is imploding. On that, Democrat state governors met directly with the president for what they later described as an honest, candid conversation on the key question, can he do the job? Do you think he's fit for office? Yes, fit for office. But meanwhile, reports Biden himself knows there's a serious problem and that the next few days are crucial for determining his future. Under pressure to prove to all he's fit for office and re-election, and to push back on the sudden and sobering concerns he is not. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington. Embarrassing and dangerous for the nation. Donald Trump does not hate you. He does not hate America. He's a private citizen trying to save America and save American culture. He's the only person close to the lever of power is willing to close the border and save the country. Other areas of the world are not our problems and the reason we think it's our problem is based on all propaganda about us it's all propaganda about us over there i call everything propaganda by the way uh virtual reality is the future of fun in my leon s kennedy save america video i show how decrepit joe biden was he's a sign of weakness right now and videos i'm going to do is like harry sisson the paid little democrat weasel biden shill is running on this narrative that yeah joe biden lied in the debate but they're not nearly as bad as donald trump's lies and then also that it was just one bad night he's had such a strong presidency and we're not going to let one bad debate night show like what's illustrative of the future guys he is a corpse and they're talking about four more years it's really crazy i'm gonna give you guys more news stories in all my videos i have so many good videos my quest versus psvr2 video is really good my quest evil is evil video is good um but yeah and then my rosie o'donnell video is good my most recent video is the ps the playstation's broken playstation hates us how concord is trash guys check them all out but i'm also going to give you the two recommendations uh to take you into the future of fun direct recommendations from the white gamer my horror playlist is also awesome i do an intimate walkthrough in the resident evil 8 game feminist vampires werewolf stalker guys it's really fun check it out take in the sounds and you can't tell how the guns feel from the video but the guns feel awesome hopefully this gets you excited for new entertainment it's not just about the visuals and the flat screen doesn't do it justice vr creators have to continue to say and have to keep repeating ourselves because the people and the players need to know that inside the headset is way different than on flat screen or watching it on youtube the sounds the controllers the haptics the way the guns feel there's easy modes on a lot of these games there's accessibility features in some of the games i'm gonna do videos on it but the stuff is therapy for greater america and it's a great way to spice up video gaming for hardcore uh, established players check out the videos top five secrets on psvr2 is my best video i don't know if it's the best mass appeal or because i titled and tagged it the best but if you're uh, if you're just a rando person i'd say go check that out that's my best performing psvr2 video